Hey everyone, Sarian here. Welcome back to Coffee Talk. This is actually going to be our final episode of Coffee Talk. It's been a wild ride, but I'm excited to see our story to the very end. So in our last episode, Freya is once again sleep deprived from her writing. It seems like she's been making some good progress so far, and she's close to finishing her draft. Uh, Gala was a bit embarrassed about the incident from the other day, but he's made up for it. No harm done. Rachel storms into the coffee shop after another argument with her dad over her manager at Coachella. Uh, meanwhile, Henry got into a fight and he had to go to the hospital. He's recovering now, but he got hurt pretty bad. It also turns out that Henry was right about Lester. There was a huge bust the night of. So let's continue. Two weeks later. Alright. More women have spoken out and claimed Morris Lester lied. Well, not surprising. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Oh god. Uh, Neil? A Coachella festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. Okay. <laughs> Hello! You're finally here. <laughs> hey, y'all. She's looking really happy. Hey, yo. Hi, Freya. Huh, someone's feeling happy today. Of course! Did they... They approved it! We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh my... Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. <laughs> You're goddamn right! Oh my god. Oh my god! How did they react to the draft? To be honest... They're not that excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? That's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care. As long as they publish it. I'm content with that. Anyway... Whatever happens with the book now... I can take things a little slower. Because they give me a year to finish it. With a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough. Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea. Yeah. He brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any from me? I'm not sure. But he did say... He always gives gifts directly. <laughs> Gift giving the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? <laughs> Things are great. The last time I saw you was... Before your mini break? Yes, we decided to go to Coachella. Oh god. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the event was a mess. I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So, where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. Oh, what? Whoa! New profile picture. We got new information on her. Uh, favorite things? I love my family, cats, milk, and you! Cute. What I'm doing with my life, dancing, singing, and trying to achieve my dreams since I was 13. I'm not stopping now. Aw, cute! <laughs> Aw. Oh, 
that's really cute. <laughs> hmm. I love it. You both look so cute. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? Uh, no. I'm guessing it's at the... the booth. It was at Max. They had a Japanese-style photo booth there. So I forced her to take a picture together. <laughs> You're at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah... I helped her out a bit with the booth. Uh, thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. <laughs> By the way... Have any of you heard from Neil? Uh, no. Not me. They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Couchella. But that's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. <laughs> what? What are they doing in New York? It's me. Working on their mission, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably. They'd stand more of a chance there. <laughs> yeah, I guess you'd meet all types of people there. Uh, anyway, guys. Uh, we're leaving for the night. Aw, oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way, then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. Uh, see you, spicy boy. See you around. Aww. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the sound of Aqua squishing out of the shop. They look happier than I when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with. In such a short amount of time. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Anyway. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. Uh, no worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. Ah, great. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after ten years together, we're finally moving in together next month. I'm so happy for them. Wow, congrats! But I thought Lua would live with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently. And her company is providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. <laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey... It's alright. Freya and Spicy Boy have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey Freya. And Spicy Boy. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. <laughs> you told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard. We're going to move in together next month. Oh, you got another surprise for us? Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. 
I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you're going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did it go? Man, her father didn't kill me at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's. We need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. Intro? You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're gonna watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. <laughs> oh, the movie! I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. He probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. Alright, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, spicy boy. Enjoy the movie. <sighs> they are lovebirds. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yeah. How will you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. Huh. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway. Hmm? What's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skip coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well... There are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? Aww. Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Cute! Last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. They're getting married. I'd returned from his trip to Korea and brought some gifts. Some are more special than others. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He said he's considering moving back to Seattle if his agency allows him. <laughs> Aqua continues her work with the university. What did I just see? She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. <laughs> Neil... The only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. Oh. <laughs> Rachel's back at the recording studio, preparing her for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. Ah, Henry. And finally, Freya. She f finished her book, got published, and had some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. Oh man. Oh no, Freya. Ah oh, no, poor Freya. Okay, so I'm not gonna end it there. I need to make sure I get a better ending, so... <laughs> that was the main story of Coffee Talk. Uh, I would say stay tuned though, because I'll be playing more after uh, the cut. Before we roll the credits, I'm gonna skip ahead. Spicy boy. 
Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. W what Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then. What's going on? Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an earthling immigration agency is after me. N now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. What? When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. <laughs> was he a bald guy in a suit? No way, is that Neil? Yes. That F-I-R-E agent. You've seen him? Yes, thankfully. I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. <laughs> so, you finally noticed. To think that such power can be born from our kind. What? <laughs> Wait, you're good with your act, though. It took a few tries. But there are some timelines where I... Uh, where I forget to pretend that I didn't have... some knowledge of certain stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then, it was the first time Rachel vi visited this place. Ah, that's m that must be where I messed up. That must be where I made the wrong drinks. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I, I communicate with my kind. I never tried it, but let's see. <laughs> You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Oh man. Okay. So the game is gonna give me another chance. Well... Let's see how I do in a second round. I'm gonna go back and make everyone the drinks that I think I should have made them. And we'll see what kind of ending we get. So my second run through of the game, there were a few significant changes to the dialogue. At some point, Spicy Boy slips up and says things that he wouldn't know unless he, he's lived through this before. And I think even more mysteriously, after we serve Neil a Milky Way, uh, their favorite drink, they open up about their mission to produce the, the savior of the planet here on Earth. Uh, but they say something about the child having to be born out of love. I remember Freya saying something about that in my first playthrough, but I didn't think it was significant. So Neil's mission is to basically fall in love and have a sort of superhero kid? I wasn't totally sure. Alright, so it's the last day again. Let's see how this goes. they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yeah. 
how you're, how will you write their story? As it is, it's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. <laughs> That's one way to put it. By the way, I haven't seen your final draft. May I read it? Sure, a lot more confident this time. I brought an extra copy. Let's see. main character is a time traveler? Uh, <laughs> subtly. I mentioned it just enough to raise suspicion. Uh, she was inspired by a little someone, maybe. Where did you get the inspiration for the character? You know the answer. What? Does she know? Why would I? Either you're smart enough to get what I mean. Or you already know what my answer is. <laughs> Don't think about it too much, it's only a story. Anyway... <laughs> oh, what's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for ten days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? Ah. Okay. We'll visit this place more often now that they live nearby. Last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. Yeah, they are getting married. It's no big secret. I returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than the others. God. <laughs> he said he's considering moving back to Seattle if his agency allows it. <laughs> oh my god. Aqua continues her work with the university. Oh, look at them. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. <laughs> Neil? The only news about their superhero breeding mission are the two postcards they sent me. Rachel's back at the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. And finally, Freya. She finished her book, got published, and had some signing sessions. It was a mass success, sold out even after the four printings. Might be adapted to a movie. She's working on a second. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I finished my second playthrough of the game. I guess now we'll get to learn more about what Neil's been up to. I do like the fact that the game <laughs> allowed me to get a second chance without feeling too bad. So yeah, this has been really fun. I think it's just the right amount of soothing to play. I would definitely play more games like this. I think the art direction and the soundtrack are what make it really great. I've actually been listening to the soundtrack on my commute, and it's been really chill. Life has been getting hectic for me recently, and sometimes this is the kind of game I need. I hope you friends have enjoyed this, and please let me know what you think about this game. Is this the kind of content you want to see, or do you have a suggestion for another game? I'd like to hear your thoughts. But yeah, thank you for watching. After the credits, uh, there'll be a little bit more, I think. And I'll see you then.
So, she found out, huh? Clever as usual. In some timelines, yeah. But I have to ask you this. Why? Why what? Why do all this? Opening the cafe. Connecting people. I just like to make sure things go all right. Besides... Yes? I also have to make sure... That I'll exist on Earth. Ha! <laughs> That's one hell of an important task indeed. It is. Hmm? What? What? Okay, so I get it. Spicy Boy is the superhero baby they're talking about. And, uh... I guess he travels through the past to make sure Neil gets it on with uh, an Earthling. <laughs> to make sure he exists. Wow. Okay. I'm glad I didn't miss that detail. That's pretty important. Huh. I'm glad they put in that juicy, juicy lure for the new game plus. I think it does give it a, a bit of replay value. I think most people would skip the dialogue in their second playthrough. I think there may be other endings, but uh, as for my playthrough of it, I think I'll leave it there. But yeah, that was Coffee Talk. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to take care of yourself today. And I'll see you in the next series. Take care. Bye.